Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. Learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. Learn a lot today. Hi, my friends. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Today, we are celebrating Virgin Islands History Month. Are you ready? Great, then let's go. The United States Virgin Islands became a US territory in 1917, but its rich culture and history dates back to hundreds of years before that. The USVI is made up of four islands, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, and Water Island. Virgin Islands History Month is a month-long celebration in the month of March that recognizes Virgin Islands history and history makers. Senator Sean Michael Malone introduced a bill recognizing VI History Month to ensure that VI heritage and historical events were being promoted in the schools and dedicated one month of the year for the Virgin Islands community to focus on it. The bill was signed into law by then Governor Charles Turnbull in 2006, and every March since then, we celebrate the culture and history of the Virgin Islands community. We are currently on St. Croix, the largest of the three main islands, and my home. <laughs> St. Croix has two towns, Frederickstead and Christianstead. Frederickstead is on the west side of the island, and Christianstead is on the east side of the island. <laughs> Each town has a fort that was used for centuries to protect from pirates, as prison cells, police stations, and so many important events in history, such as the Slave Rebellion, led by General Budho, and the Labor Riots, led by Queen Mary, Queen Agnes, Queen Matilda, and Batambelli. Queen Mary, where you going to burn? Queen Mary, tell me where you going to burn? Don't ask me nothing tall, just give me the match and oil. Bars in jail houses, where we going to burn? Don't ask me nothing tall, just give me the match and trash. Bars in jail houses, where we going to burn? Queen Mary, where you going to burn? But I'm barely, tell me where you're going to burn. Don't ask me nothing tall, just give me the match and oil. Bars in jail houses, where the money there. Don't ask me nothing tall, just give me the match and trash. Bars in jail houses, where we're going to burn. Do you hear that sound? That sounds like music playing. Listen closely. Look, over there. There's people dancing in the streets. That music that you are hearing is called Quilbe music. <laughs> the official music of the Virgin Islands. And the dancers are dancing quadrille. A Quilbe band or scratch band is made up of instruments such as the banjo, drums, the triangle, the keyboard, the flute, the congas, and really any other percussion instruments that could make a sound when you hit it. <laughs> as long as it can catch the beat. <laughs> the caller says words and directions to the dancers such as tune and balance and draw away. <laughs> you can't help but clap your hands and stomp your feet <laughs> to the sweet Kuelbe music. <laughs> All that dancing has made me so hungry. 
Let's head over to Wim Great House. The Estate Wim Museum is the only sugar plantation museum in the Virgin Islands. It is a reminder of how difficult life was for our ancestors living as an enslaved person working on a plantation. It has slave quarters and a great house, a cookhouse, the sugar mills, and so much more for us to still see. There was a time when there were hundreds of sugar mills on the island, when enslaved people worked from sun up till sundown cutting sugar cane to make sugar and other products. In a cookhouse, which was made of brick, meals were made in a coal pot and brick ovens. Many of our local Virgin Islands dishes stem from those meals created by our ancestors, such as kalaloo, which is a type of soup made from the kalaloo bush. Fungi, which is made from cornmeal and okra, and Johnny Cake, which is a fried dough fed to workers as they made their long journey to work every morning. In fact, there's a very popular song about Johnny Cake. <laughs> Mama, bake your Johnny Cake. Mama, bake your Johnny Cake, Christmas coming. Mama, bake your Johnny Cake, Christmas coming. Christmas coming, and New Year's coming. Christmas coming, and New Year's coming. Mama, bake your Johnny Cake, Christmas coming. Mama, bake your Johnny Cake, Christmas coming. Christmas coming, and New Year's coming. Christmas coming and New Year's coming. Mama, bake your Johnny Cake, Christmas coming. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We are now going to hop on the seaplane and fly over to St. Thomas. <laughs> Come on. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> well, my friends, we have made it to St. Thomas and it is busy. <laughs> Charlotte Amalie, named after the Queen of Denmark, became the capital of the Virgin Islands in the 1600s because all the major businesses of other countries took place right here. <laughs> here on Market Square was one of the biggest trade markets in the world. <laughs> Ships traveling from Europe to America or America to Europe would stop here to restock their supplies and get food and entertainment and stretch their legs a bit before continuing on to their journey. Today, St. Thomas remains one of the busiest islands in the Caribbean, seeing thousands of visitors daily. <laughs> Let's head over to Red Hook so that we can catch the ferry over to St. John. All right, my friends, we are on the ferry and we are heading over to St. John. It's about a 20 minute boat ride from St. Thomas to St. John. Let's sing a song while we head over there. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ah, we're here. <laughs> that took no time. We are now on the island of St. John, the smallest of the three main islands. The town in St. John is called Cruise Bay. 
Half of the island is actually a national park that serves as a safe haven for birds and mangroves and dolphins and turtles and so many other wildlife and creatures. The first major slave revolt actually took place on St. John in 1773 where enslaved people took over the fort and destroyed many of their plantations. But before they were Europeans and enslaved people on the island, they were Taino Indians, which were natives of the Virgin Islands. Taino Indians were the first settlers of the Virgin Islands. On the Reef Bay Trail, you will find petroglyphs. Petroglyphs are symbols that are engraved in stones by the Tainos. These symbols help to pass on information such as religious beliefs and important events and people and things that they needed to survive and stories that they wanted to be passed on from generation to generation. Along with many other art forms, storytelling is an important part of Virgin Islands culture. Families would gather as stories were told and many stories that were mostly a moral lesson. Storytellers like Miss Asta Williams, Miss Janice Tutine, Miss Leona Watson, and so many others brought storytelling to the Virgin Islands community. Storytelling is an important part of Virgin Islands culture and an art form that has to live on for many generations to come. Let's listen to a story by one of the Virgin Islands future storytellers, Miss Melody. Everybody say hi, Melody. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, an auntie lived in a tree with his wife and children. He always used to go and rob the others in the village, but nobody knew where he lived. So Tiger and brother Tukuma follow him and saw where he lived. They see one and auntie wife send down the rope for whatever an auntie bring for the family to eat. So Tiger went to a tinsmith to give him a fine, fine voice. And he went to the tree and started to say, Mama, 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 send down the rope, send down the rope. And Nancy the underground, yeah. And Nancy went to him that his voice was too coarse. You ain't brother and Nancy. So Tiger went back to our voicemail and this time he had the same, same voice as Anansi. So he went to the tree again and started to say, Mama, Mama, send down the rope, send down the rope, Anansi on the ground, yeah. So she sent down the rope, but Anansi was coming home, walking from a distance, and he see his wife pulling Tiger up from the rope. So he started to say, Mama, Mama, cut the rope, cut the rope. And Nancy wife cut the rope. So brother Tiger followed and broke his neck. And Nancy had him for dinner. Nobody could get brother and Nancy at all at all because he the smartest one of all. We'll then story and take a pen and write your name in. Mr. Pete's final thoughts. Well, my friends, that is it for us today. <laughs> we are back at the easternmost point of the United States, Point Udall on the island of St. Croix. If you are standing here when the sun comes up, you will be the first person to see the sunrise in this part of the world. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Today we learned all about the importance of Virgin Islands History Month. Virgin Islands people come from a strong, powerful history. Our culture is so unique and so diverse and we must do what we can to hold on to it and never let anyone try to take it away or water it down. <laughs> Virgin Islanders contribute and have been contributing successfully to the world for centuries with our music, our food, our bloodline, and our culture as a whole. It is so important that we must do everything that we can to teach it, promote it, and preserve it. Remember to always find music in the noise, to love yourself, and I love you. Happy Virgin Islands History Month. We'll see you next time at Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye.